Unraveling the Mystery, LK-99, the enigmatic superconductor, LK-99, the superconductor that's rocking the scientific world. Ever wondered what life would be like in a futuristic utopia where hover trains whisk you to work, hoverboards take you on exciting adventures, and phones with unlimited battery power and lightning-fast quantum chips become a reality? Well, you don't have to wonder anymore because the South Korean scientists claim they've found the holy grail of science, a room temperature ambient pressure superconductor called LK-99. If this turns out to be legit, it could be the greatest discovery of the 21st century. But before we get too carried away, let's dive into the details and see if LK-99 is a game changer or just another scientific bust. Have you been living under a rock? Because if you haven't heard about LK-99, you might as well be. This revolutionary superconductor has taken the world by storm, causing social media to explode, stock markets to skyrocket, and Silicon Valley investors to lose their cool. But what is LK-99, and why is it causing such a frenzy? Let's dive into the fascinating world of this pebble-sized dark rock packed with lead, phosphorus, copper, and oxygen. But before we begin this video, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss out on amazing and entertaining content. LK-99 was first introduced in the Lee Kim 1999 research and is believed to be a game-changer in the world of superconductors. So, what exactly is a superconductor, and why is it such a big deal? Well, regular conductors, like copper and aluminium, allow electrons to flow through them, but they encounter resistance, which leads to the generation of heat. That's why our devices need fans and heat sinks to keep them cool. But superconductors are different. They allow electricity to flow without any resistance, resulting in efficient and lossless energy transfer. The catch is that traditional superconductors only work at extremely low temperatures or under intense pressure, making them impractical for everyday use. But LK-99 changes the game entirely. This new material is claimed to be a superconductor at room temperature and ambient pressure, which means it can function under regular conditions we experience every day. The research team, led by Sukbe Lee and Ji Hoon Kim, published two non-peer-reviewed preprints on the 25th of July, sparking a race among scientists worldwide to reproduce their results. Superconductors not only allows electricity to flow smoothly, but also exhibits fascinating magnetic properties. There are two types. Type 1 superconductors expel all magnetic fields when they transition to a superconducting state, which is known as the Meissner effect. On the other hand, Type II superconductors don't completely expel magnetic fields and can work at relatively higher temperatures. LK-99 seems to belong to the latter group, making it more suitable for practical applications. Now, the most incredible thing about LK-99 is that it's surprisingly easy to make. You just need some lead oxide and lead sulfate, heat them up at 725 degrees Celsius for 24 hours, and you've got yourself some lanarkite. Combine that with some copper phosphide in a vacuum and heat it up, and ta-da, you've got LK-99. It's astounding how such a groundbreaking material can be created with relatively straightforward steps. But remember, the results published so far are non-peer-reviewed, so we need to wait for confirmation and more experiments before we can fully comprehend the implications of LK-99. But there's no denying the potential it holds for transforming our energy systems, electronics, and so much more. Replication attempts have been interesting, to say the least. Teams from India and Beijing tried to synthesize LK-99, but alas, no signs of superconductivity were found. Theoretical studies have also thrown in their two cents, hinting at intriguing electronic features in LK-99, but stopping short of proving its superconductivity at room temperature. So, the replicators took a shot at making LK-99 following the Korean team's process, but boy, was it tricky. The high temperatures and lead involved raised some eyebrows and concerns among researchers about amateur replication attempts being dangerous. Nonetheless, if it becomes a reality, the potential use cases of LK-99 couldn't be overstated. I'm talking faster and more efficient electronics, cheaper and more accessible medical tech, and even the mind-boggling world of quantum computing and frictionless transportation. Not to mention, our energy efficiency could skyrocket, making weather manipulation to improve things like politicians' last resort. 
Now, before you start imagining levitating trains and investing all your money in such stocks, let's put on our thinking hats for a moment. While LK99 sounds like the stuff of dreams, some smart folks out there are raising their eyebrows and being quite skeptical about it. You see, the highest temperature superconductors we have today work at a chilly negative 20 degrees Celsius and require pressures of a mind-blowing 25 million PSI. To add to the drama, there's some controversy surrounding the paper itself. It seems like it was uploaded without everyone being on board, hinting at potential infighting between the researchers. And just recently, another scientist had his paper taken down, claiming to have discovered a room temperature superconductor too. Now let me tell you, I'm all for groundbreaking discoveries and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. But we've got to stay grounded and cautious until we have rock-solid evidence and consensus from the scientific community about LK99. I mean, it's understandable that everyone wants to ride the wave of fame, but cherry-picking data or outright lying is a big no-no in the world of science. But we should not be giving up hope on LK99 just yet. Just imagine a world where our gadgets run like lightning, medical breakthroughs become more accessible, and we can zip around on frictionless transportation. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi flick. So, let's keep our eyes peeled for more updates and eagerly await the results of further experiments. That's it for today's video. Now, I want to hear from you now. What are your thoughts on LK99? Do you think it's the real deal or just another hype? Drop your comments below and let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting tech updates. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.